it's still not much. Hi guys, it's been a while since any serious video or message has come out, but I am still alive. I've been living on my own in an apartment for two years, I adopted a cat, I've been paying off student loans, and I'm relatively just trying to get by. In my last update video over two years ago, I was saying I was excited to be starting my first career role, but unfortunately, I just quit my job the other day after being there for 28 months where I spent the last 18 or so hoping, praying, that the company leadership would change their minds about making me work remotely, essentially. It's a long story, but I went from being a writer who was like, you know, wow, this is crazy, I'm writing for businesses and companies that I barely know anything about, but I'm researching their industries and it feels good to get it. And I did a fantastic job to the point that um, my agency's leaders uh, asked me by month three if I wanted to move to the headquarters and change to a new position. Uh, learn new things, get in the driver's seat on how to act on marketing data, and be a part of the family. And while the pandemic did delay my start a little bit, uh, the two months that I was there in that desk job, I was kind of blindsided by how stressful the working environment became with even more rigid schedules and unpaid mandatory overtime um, to learn some things and you know, pressure to sometimes half-ass it when clearly I was being assigned some of the most technical clients available and, you know, my supervisors would still cheer that, like, I'm the X-Factor, I'm a quick study. But, uh, when I started to say, um, that, like, the constant crunch was getting to me and one day I made a comment that, like, I was late to work that day because my old car broke down, my coaches dragged me aside after that meeting and said, like, you know, you're being a little negative and uh, we don't want you to be a damper on the team, um, and we noticed you seem a bit stressed, and uh, I said, I respect your critique, but, you know, that's because I care about the accuracy that our clients are paying us for and expect. Um, they go, okay, you know, why don't you read these three books on positive, on, like, positivity, positive mindset, teamwork, um, and, you know, we'll, we'll think about ramping things up to the point where you're actually a, a full-fledged team member. I did that, I absorbed as, as much as I could on each of these self-help books. I shared my notes and they were like, you know, we're glad you liked them. You didn't have to write a book report on each of them. Um, but, you know, we've been thinking and just like, you know, it's not a failure to go back to, to being a writer if you want to do that for us. And I'm like, no, I, I moved to this city. I like my teammates. I can adjust to the work. And I understand that you might be evaluating me a little closer because, as an aside, I didn't go through the, the rigorous four-round interview process that everybody else in the office did to get there in that position because the good word was already put in for me about what I contributed as a writer and they said they wanted me. And the next day they told me, uh, pack up your desk, you'll be remote from now on uh, at a position that's sort of between the, the two things you're good at, which is research and writing. Um, and I became a founding member of, a, of this team of analysts where I was completely remote, but I had teammates who could have awesome benefits and invited to office parties. And, you know, there I was 15 minutes away from headquarters, um, just kind of forgotten about because to them, I was back to being an independent contractor, not an employee. And if there's one thing I learned from this experience that I want to share with a viewer like you, it's to never settle when you think that the cards have been intentionally, unfairly stacked against you. When your heart is not in it anymore, your presence should not be as well. I waited over a year and a half working my hardest, uh, getting showered with praise on how I was helping my team do great things, and I'm proving that these special analyses we do uh, improve our clients' engagement and results. Um, but I really tortured myself, you know, thinking that I was earning a path to redemption. And as the months wore on, I grew more and more miserable, wondering why things weren't changing for me, um, and afraid that if I complained again about my situation, the axe would drop a second time on my neck, and the healthiest thing I could do uh, was draw a line where time was up. But enough of the bad news. While I'm still looking to find a new employer and take all my experience with me, I'm moving in with my family again 500 miles away from where I am now and uh, getting the itch to make content again, but I just don't know where to start. I'm going to rattle off some of the ideas I've had floating around in my head and have scribbled down over the years. Um, so first I was thinking like, 
an epilogue on the Roblox Talk forum simulator, but without the forums, either a mini-movie or a reanimation of a scene, uh, a series of six videos or so set to the music of an album, and an animated story that unravels out of order, uh, a couple of videos like the, the contest-winning Wonderful Afternoon that I did for Pixel Flame or Max the Mink, whoever or wherever he is now, but some off-the-wall oddball stuff like that. I wanted to make a, a Let's Talk Roblox video about sounds, audio, the copyright trouble with the death sound, and how uh, the guy Tommy Tallarico got the, the break he needed to, to launch his video game system, the Amico, but that still hasn't shipped out yet to even be judged a failure or a success. Um, and finally, reanimating a scene from, from media that I'm surprised no one else seems to have yet. Um, but here's the thing with all that, I mean, I lost two years of my life slipping further away from Roblox and not keeping a pulse on how studio works, or what animation tools people use, or the content varieties that people want to see. So I'd like to hear from you, and ask if there was one thing you wanted me to work at and hopefully finish in the next few months, now's the time to suggest. But what I haven't given up on, and is something you can experience, is my writing. And with the forums gone, probably the best avenue to express yourself is the Roblox library community, which over has like it has over like 4,000 user-made books and a game that was first advertised on Roblox Talk. And it's still amazing that it's grown this much over the years. I finally started submitting last year, and I highly recommend it if you want to learn what it's like to be published. I have five books in the library right now, so you can, for instance, read uh, this satire about the Roblox forums or an old fanfic in the Apocalypse Rising universe. I also have a, a two-part guide to playing the Medic in Team Fortress 2. I'm working on submitting two more fiction pieces, including one original universe and a Roblox one. They take about three months to appear with the lengthy review process, but when they do, there's a little magnifying glass in the corner of the game where you can search by author and track them down. And uh, if you do check them out, I hope you enjoy what they offer. Um, sort of what I'd like to do someday is create a series that kind of combines a published story or even comic on the Roblox library, and I post videos that accompany the story in some way, or, or vice versa. Um, like, you could get the exposition and the background reading the books and tune in to see more action-oriented scenes on the channel. And again, these are a long ways off, but I want to know what the people who are still around would like to see. So to wrap things up, thanks to everyone who's checked back in and revisited some of the old days, seeing some of you reminisce on how the humor or storytelling still holds up, how some of you are 8 or 9 years older than when you first discovered my stuff, it is all so surreal. Uh, it's made being a creator definitely worth it. And I want to get back into the swing of things, but it is still dependent on what life has in store, and I hope it's going to get better. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.